All right, it starts now. No new year, new me bullshit. It starts now. I don't care if it's fucking fuck January 1st. We're gonna start today. December, what is it? 29th? I'll upload this on December 30th. Who gives a shit? We're starting today. Starting now. I've made an entire blueprint on how I'm going to transform 2024 because I have made some mistakes. But there's one thing I slacked out on and I hate it and I'm gonna rectify it this year. So I've made a complete blueprint on what I'm gonna do, a guide on how to make 2024 a sick ass fucking year. So let's just get into it. So I've made a complete presentation for you guys. Not just no video, I've actually made a presentation um, inspired by the CEO of Testosterone, used his style, Jack Hopkins. Um, check him out, he's the inspiration behind this. But I decided to make a presentation to actually guide and align what I'm gonna say and actually give it some structure. So it's biohacking. I'm not too big into the biohacking genre or whatever, but we're gonna biohack our bodies and biohack the fucking year, hack the year 2024 for success. So prerequisites, no fap. Like you can't be jerking off, like 2024 bro, this is one thing that has to happen. And you know, I came across NoFap over three years ago and I never looked back. It changed my life, super important, but you gotta do it. The best way to do it if you're beginning, whatever stage you're at, just optimize your devices to make sure that no X-rated content can ever be accessed on there. I'll link some apps in the description below that you can use. Just make sure your devices are useful to you and actually providing you with good value. Let's face it, we can never escape our devices. We work on them, we consume content, we learn using our devices. We can never run away from them. So you might as well optimize it to your success as best you possibly can. Second thing is working out, whatever, but just make sure you train as frequently as you possibly can and make sure it's consistent. If you, if you can train only three times a week, make sure you can do that three times a week consistently. If you can do six times a week, make sure you do that consistently. That is the foundation of becoming successful because getting rich, getting amazing, becoming a legend, excellence doesn't just happen, it's, it's a habit. Becoming excellent is a habit. So make sure you develop that habit in all aspects. Make sure you're consistently doing the best things possible for yourself. Train for an aesthetic body, that's what I do, and include some martial arts with it because you know you wanna run out of fight, you wanna look good. Both things must be done. Sleep, all right? Now this is the one thing I struggled with so much in 2023. I did, I did not pay attention to my sleep. I was staying up late, working late. I remember this one time in the summer, I was, making, I was editing some videos for something else I was doing at the time. And I, I fell asleep at the same time I saw the sunrise. So that was the new thing to me. I was like, dude, there is no way. I was going to bed and I literally looked out the window. I could see the fucking sun. And I was like, what the fuck? I, <laughs> I, I was so pissed off. We spend an average of a third of our lives sleeping. That's assuming you live about 80 years. You spend about 26 full fucking years sleeping. That's nine and a half thousand days, 227,000 hours. So we spend so much fucking time doing it. We should at least optimize it to give us the best results possible. You spend seven years trying to get to sleep. If you could cut that seven years down and just make sure you fall asleep whenever you need to, like that. Like you, you could do that, I've done it in the past, it works. As soon as it hits 9 p.m., boom, you're out. Let, let's get to that point. So in order to optimize it, go to bed and wake up at the same time, every single day, like as best as possible. But you make sure you can do that. Before sleep, of course, people say, oh, the three, two, one rule, whatever. I, I don't listen to that bullshit too much. Spend some time relaxing, like before bed, like an hour before bed. Maybe do some light work or just read some books. Drink chamomile tea, I like that. And just relax, just make sure the work is done. The work has been done and I can actually relax. Don't be working right up to the bedtime because people, it sounds cool to say, oh, I work till I'm dead or oh, it's not, it's not really good. Waking up time, force your body to wake up, you know? Don't just roll out of bed like, you know, you know, just like lying in bed in the morning. It's terrible, I feel all groggy, I just, it's just not good. Have an alarm that wakes you up, that makes that pisses you off. The sound of the alarm literally becomes like cancer to you. They fucking hate it. But that's what you need that. You need that fucking forceful waking up. There was a period in my life where for two years straight, I woke up and slept at the same time. 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. It was the best. It was such an amazing time. Like my mind, everything was so clear. All right, in the past year, I've slacked off and my, my, my sleep schedule has been fucked up. But we're going to fix it. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. No 9 to 5 sleep time. Not 9 to 5 work, 9 to 5 sleep. Eight hours of sleep, that's good. If you want to do 10 to 6, 7, 9 hours sleep, good. But just stay consistent between the sleep window so that you, you sleep in this time, nothing else. So, so that the rest of the day you can get actual work done. Morning routine. I like using medieval images because that's like my favorite genre. But wake up when the alarm goes off, right? Like the, like the, the piss off feeling and drink a fuck ton of water. Uh, people say one liter, da, da, da. I don't give a shit about that. Just have some nice water ready, some good quality water. We'll, we'll get into that. But just drink a bunch of water. It gets, gets you feeling good. Your mouth is all dry and everything feels like shit. First thing when you wake up, meditate or, or just like take in the world. Preferably go out for a walk. When I used to live at home, I'd go in the back garden, take in the sun. In the UK, there's no such thing as a fucking sun. Haven't seen the sun in weeks. That's why I take vitamin D. 
go outside just go for a walk get in that sun get the nature make sure your eyes can adjust to something to things in the distance because our eyes are so used to seeing things up close books computer screens phones whatever our eyes need to learn to look at things far away wait adjust your eyes your brain whatever just take in nature after that take a cold shower fucking get that energy and that fucking testosterone whatever thing you get from a cold shower love that shit and then get on with your day. And the first thing you do is the most important task. I learned this from Jack Hopkins, CEO of Testosterone, that complete your first, your most important task first thing in the day. This could be your business work, um, your outreach, your video, your, your prospecting for more clients, your main content that you post, whatever it may be, get the most important task done. If nothing else gets done, that's fine. As long as this gets done, whatever it may be for whatever business you run. People think working out is the main thing. Yeah, it was cool. I used to work out first thing in the morning when I was in high school. But back then, I didn't have any any other thing to worry about. But now, it's like working out can happen later in the day. I just came back from the gym. It's cool. But in the morning, when your brains are like rested, use that calmness to actually get the articulated work done. Aim like a sniper. See what work needs to be done. Your aim's clear. So use that time, use that clarity to actually get targeted work done. And assuming you go to work or you're in school or whatever, that, that has to happen now. And after that, you can work out and go to the gym and whatever. The rest of the day is yours. You can do whatever you want. Look at that fucking picture of the dirty shit anus water, bro. That's terrible. <laughs> Stay away from that rancid ass tap water, man. That is fucking terrible. Even if you're young, you're young, young and broke. I'm not rich, but I still have started to get this shit. Here, I got the six 1.5 liter bottles. Yeah, it's good ass water. It makes you want to drink it. It's not, it doesn't, you know it's not, it doesn't have the fucking shit in it. The tap water does. Tap water has like fluoride and estrogen, bro, like... It will kill you slowly, but you won't realize it now. Ooh, well, water hydrated. It will kill you slowly. Don't do that. And the, the thing about birth control, piss, that dust. And women take birth control and they piss out estrogen into like the water system and they can't filter that because it's a hormone. They can't get rid of that. So it's like, I'm not drinking that shit. So get some water, get some good ass quality water. It doesn't have to be expensive. Over here, when I, every time I go back to the UAE, I find high quality water because people there can actually afford it. It's not a shithole. And that's why I came across some higher quality brands of water and like consume that. But man, just this is something you don't think about. You don't get taught of. You, you don't learn about it. Take action on it. Simple as buying a pack of Evian water. It's good water. It'll benefit you in the future. You'll realize later on something terrible happens because of tap water and you were like, oh shit, I'm glad I switched to good water. Thank you, Aish. But food, look at these fucking berries. Look at these berries. I, I Today I was craving eating raspberries. I was like, fuck man, they look so good. Like they, they're literally inviting you to eat them. And then you see this fucking clown, this dickhead. Like why the fuck would you want to go anywhere near this guy? And we've all eaten McDonald's, let's be real. And at times we do, even, even knowing that it's terrible. But look at this fucking guy, it's a creepy ass clown. You never know, he, wait, he might grab you or some shit, or grab your dick or some shit, that, that's bad. What the fuck? From Pennywise bullshit, bro. You have to stay away from this motherfucker. But look at these berries. Look at this chicken, whoever made it, is, knows what they're doing. If you want to eat that stuff, stay away from fucking Ronald McDonald, dickhead clown, and just all that kinds of shit. Like, stay away from that crap. You don't know what they're putting in it. They just give you the food. You don't know what's in there. No, as long as you know what you're eating, natural foods. Eat foods that are like, are like just exist naturally. Berries, yogurt. I mean, I guess yogurt is kind of, kind of processed, but whatever. Greek yogurt, nuts, honey, chicken, turkey, vegetable, eggs, milk, steak, whatever you want to eat. Make sure it's like actual natural food. Like it exists by itself. It's not like a burger that's come from this place, from patties from this place and from this fucking weird plant, some factory in China. That shit's gonna kill you, bro. It's terrible. Just, just avoid the McDonald's type shit. I'm not too deep into, oh yeah, no, don't eat this. No, no, no. Like, I'm not too crazy about it, but like, you should know when shit's bad. Like last time I went into a fast food place, I almost got fucking finessed by some lady. Some, some weird lady started touching me up and it was crazy. Watch that video, I've, I've linked it here. You know what kind of people go to those kinds of places. So it was just like, whoa, she was on some terrible drugs, definitely. Fuck it, just stay away from all that shit as best you possibly can. Now this is good. Now this is a good topic, a happy topic. Socializing. You're gonna do this in 2024. Smile more often, okay? Like over here, you can see Aaron Yeager. Oh, I kind of, I kind of want to go back to that look with the long hair and everything. Maybe I should do it. Look, they're all happy right now. Like it's socializing. Not every day will be like this. There will be times where you're grinding, you're working hard, and sometimes you just wanna show the world that you love the fucking world. Like the world's a nice place. So smile more often. You always have a good enough reason to cry, and you always have a good enough reason to smile. I decide to smile. If you know who that quote is from, you're a fucking G. It's, it's true. It's true. You always have a reason to smile. Always think of the good in every situation. You just glow wherever you go. So just fucking smile more, man. Talk to more people and show genuine interest when you strike up a conversation. Like when you go up to people, just show interest because there's always something to talk about. 
There's so many people out in the, in the world and not one of them is the same. The Matrix, the world wants everybody to be the same so they can be controlled. But right now, so far, people aren't like that. Thank God. People are individuals. There's always something to learn. There's always something to hear. So go up and ask them and get them to talk. That's the best way, how to win friends and influence people. Get them to talk because there's always something to learn. People are magnificently interesting. Let's be real. A lot of people are fucking boring as fuck. There's also people that are super interesting and there are plenty of those people. Go and talk to them. People want you to talk to them. That's a major point. People want you to come up and talk to them. When I was very shy and secure in this new high school, I was scared. I, I wanted people to come up and talk to me. I was, I was just sitting there on my own, hoping somebody would come talk to me. Now I decided to go become that person for other people. You can do the same thing. I'm sure you must have been in situations where you didn't know anybody and you wanted people to come and talk to you. You can be that person for other people. You see a pretty girl, you know, simply go up to her and talk to her. That's all there is you will ever need. You simply go up to her, talk to her, show genuine interest about just something other than, you know, the, the, the shit we see all over the internet. Oh, baby, oh, let me get your snap. Oh, shut the fuck up. Just go say hello. It's that simple. People want to talk to you. Like People are all fucking dumbass meatbags that just want attention. Let's be real. People just want attention. People just want to be heard. Give that to them. It's business. Give somebody what they really desire and they'll give you the world. Nobody wants anything more than attention. Trust me. Just give somebody nice, deserved attention. Be like, okay, okay yo, I'm interested. In, just talk about something. That's all the risk you will ever need. And make a promise to yourself that you will talk to three new people every day. Simple conversations. Month, if you continually do that, you'll be a new man. Trust me, the level of confidence, level of risk, game, whatever you want, will be completely different. Social skills will be completely different. Trust me. I did this when I was, I moved to a new high school. I was like, okay, fine. It took a few months to actually study and be like, okay, what the fuck do I need to do to actually be, have some influence? I realized, okay, there's nothing. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go talk to three new people for my class, for my course, whatever. Go say hello. How are you finding the class? Or just whatever. Just simple conversations. It will train a part of your brain like you've never trained it before. Like a muscle. Do that. Imagine you do all these things. Simple things, right? You go up to the girl. You talk to her. You smile. You eat the right food. Imagine you do your best every day for the next year. You see the cute girl. You go up and talk to her. Simply just go talk to her. Strike up a conversation. Show genuine interest. You're with your friends, you're actually being social, you're, you're talking nicely, you have nice speech, you're, you're being positive, you're smiling, you're looking for the good in every situation instead of being negative. You eat the right food, you're making sure you're prioritizing your health, you sleep well, you don't drink alcohol, you don't think about what other people are thinking, you take action on your business every single day. You do things, you get things done. Despite what people think, all the negative shit out there, you do your best every single day. <laughs> Bro, it'll, it'll look amazing. And I have no clue what this fucking graph is showing, but I found this graph and if you look at it, it looks pretty positive to me. It looks pretty rewarding to me. And if you look closely, you'll see that it goes up and then slightly down as well. Because shit's going to happen. That's how life is. But guess what? After that down, boom, you're back up like never before. Look at that. It's right there. You go down a bit. Boom, you go up like you've never been before. That's life, bro. Ups and downs. And, and when you zoom out of it, bro, you're going up or you've made so much progress. So do your best every day. Not from the next year, from today, from today, from the moment you watch this video. I have no clue when you're watching this video, but just do your best. Do all the things you need to do. You know what you need to do. You're just fucking lazy. So please don't be like that, bro. Let's get shit done and start today and don't look back. These are a bunch of pictures of me from my gallery down here to me when I was young and me being older now. But just like all just my fucking evolution, ups and downs throughout the whole thing. I post a picture of Aaron Yeager there as well because I'm Aaron Yeager. And me and my bro Dylan, I fucking love you, bro. And just random pictures, bro. Success, whatever. Things are going to happen, okay? All you can do is keep moving forward and do your best, right? And know what you need to do. Think, study, learn, and then release that all that fucking power that you obtain into the world and create something. 2024, New Year, New Me, that's bullshit. You're starting now, okay? I don't care what year it is. It doesn't matter to me. 2024, it's just a number. The days and years are going to come by anyways. So with that being said, Start today. Don't look back. Looking back is for the girl you're hitting from behind. I will catch you in the next one. Hope this helps. Drop any comments below if you have any questions. If you have any hate, drop that below too. Um, if you have any particular questions you want to ask me, DM me on Instagram and I will reply to you. But with that being said, I will catch you in the next fucking video. Peace out.